Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So for this Foodie Fridays, we are going to be making strawberry cheesecake dump cake. And I love making a dump cake. If you've watched my Foodie Fridays, you know I've made them on the channel before. And anything that's quick and easy and tastes awesome is all... That's my whole life as far as crock pot recipes, dump cakes. Y'all are going to see a trend on Foodie Fridays if you're just now watching um, my Foodie Fridays series. So y'all had voted for this. This was from last week's viewer's choice. This was y'all's second choice. And I told y'all that I was going to be making it. And I definitely am because strawberry anything is my favorite. And I thought this would be good for Valentine's Day as well, being that it, you know, is red and it's strawberries and something quick and easy to make for your significant other I thought might be a good idea. And guys, there's only really like four ingredients for this recipe. It is so cheap and so easy. So you need a box of Betty Crocker French vanilla cake mix. And they really specifically in the original recipe to said to get that specific kind. So I did. You need to get two cans of strawberry pie filling and they need to be 21 ounces each. You need to get some whipped cream cheese. So it's got to be the whipped cream cheese and that's eight ounces. And you need one stick of butter and you're pretty much done. I also um, use some Baker's Joy here to spray down my pan before I put in my strawberries. And I also had some whipped and whipped cream in a can and some vanilla ice cream for toppings at the end, you know, just to make things a little bit extra indulgent. I'm all about that life. So I got those at the end as well. So I'm going to go into um, what we're going to do for this recipe to make it. It is so easy, guys, and I'm going to give you a heads up. It's super yummy. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna be spraying down my pan with my Baker's Joy. And after I spray that down, I'm gonna be adding my two cans of my strawberry pie filling, spreading it out evenly so it incorporates the whole entire dish. And then after I do that, I'm gonna take my whipped cream cheese and I'm going to take dollops of it and I'm going to put little bitty dollops all throughout the strawberries. So every time you go to get a bite of this, you should get a little bit of cream cheese as well. So you're not just eating plain old strawberries and cake. That's the whole premise. Um, and then after I do that, I'm going to be taking my cake mix. I'm going to put that whole stick of butter. I'm going to melt it and I'm going to mix it in my cake mix. I'm going to stir that up and make sure it's nice and crumbly. And then I'm going to crumble that on top of the strawberry and the cream cheese mixture. Pop this bad boy into the oven for 30 minutes on 350 degrees and take it out and enjoy. You must think that I'm stupid. You must think that I'm a fool. You must think that I'm new to this. But I have seen this all before. You close to me, even though you mean the most to me. Every time I open up, it hurts. So I'm never gonna get too close to you, even when I mean the most to you. In case you go and leave me. All right, y'all, so this is the final product, and I did eat this hot when it first came out the oven, and it did taste good. As you see in the picture here, I had just the whipped cream on top. I did add the ice cream to it. I am a fan of strawberries to be chilled. Like any dessert that has strawberries with it, I'm not a fan of it hot right out of the oven. I like it to be cold, and I actually ate this the next night, and I'm going to tell y'all, it tastes the bomb 
cold, all right? So if you taste it warm and you're like, oh, it doesn't taste that great, make sure you chill it or just let it chill overnight and y'all eat this the next day. I'm telling you, it tasted divine chilled and cold. And what I did the next day is I took it out of the refrigerator. I made a bowl. I put whipped cream on top and it tasted just like strawberry cheesecake. It tasted so good. And I think it's because the the whipped cream cheese, it was able to, it didn't get hard, but it was, it wasn't all runny and stuff like it was when you first took it out of the oven. And it definitely tasted like strawberry cheesecake, which to me, I always associate that with being cold, obviously. So just a little heads up on that. If you are if you eat it straight out the oven and you're like, this doesn't taste like tra- strawberry cream cheese, definitely take my advice and take it out the oven, let it cool, let it chill overnight in the refrigerator and y'all eat it the next day and try it like that. I mean, definitely take a bite of it warm to test it, but y'all are going to love it cold. This was awesome. I will definitely be making it again. I really, really love this. You can definitely alternate this and not have strawberries. Maybe do this with blueberry pie filling with the cream cheese or cherry or whatever type of fruit that you like. This would probably be great as well with actual real strawberries, maybe with a little um, sugar in it. So lots of variations you could do with this and it's great, easy, quick. I loved it. So guys, please give this this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out because I do a Foodie Fridays every single week here on the channel, always trying to do a recipe that is quick, easy, but tastes awesome. And I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. Y'all have a wonderful Friday and y'all enjoy your weekend. And I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.